my name's Stephen Cox and I'm the Chief Education Officer at New Nordic School. Hope uh, everyone is staying well at this very challenging and difficult time. Today I'm sharing some tips around online learning and choosing the right platform. Now I know this may be too late for many of you as distance learning has already started in most countries, but I wanted to share this video as an opportunity uh, so that you can reflect on your short and long term goals around the future of learning and selecting technology platforms. I think now more than ever, with current systems of education and technology, we're at a crossroads in education in terms of trying to improve current systems of education versus the need to actually innovate new systems, which I think we need. I want to offer three tips on choosing online platforms going forward. Tip number one, define your educational and business requirements first. It will save you time and money if you spend a little bit of time defining what functions and capability you want from an online platform, both in terms of education, learning and business, before matching your requirements with what's out there. I understand the need to have a short term plan at this moment in time to get something out there, which is predominantly free software, but if you haven't done so, use this opportunity to to think about the long-term vision of the future of learning at your school, the role of technology and how you're going to future-proof it as we move into a new era of learning during this difficult time. If your organisation can afford a platform that has machine learning or AI as we know it so it can deliver adaptive learning then I would highly recommend this pathway. Adaptive learning is a technology-based or online educational system that analyzes a student's or teacher's performance in real time and modifies teaching methods and based on that data. There are endless benefits to adaptive learning technology. Students can track improvement and develop a sense of personal responsibility for their academic progress. Students who have fallen behind on a new subject have additional resources to draw from and teachers can develop lesson plans tailoring specifically to the classroom of the students that are in, in their uh, care. These are just a few. The emphasis is now on the need to learn how to learn, not merely the acquisition of new facts and inputs. This personalization gives real purpose to learning. Tip number two, use a platform that's easy to use. Sounds simple enough, but it's one of the most important features to consider. For one thing, it will considerably reduce training and costs. And that's why a lot of schools and institutes are using familiar software and tools that teachers are comfortable with, and I don't blame them. However, long term, these platforms may not offer the adaptivity I highlighted previously and the personalization that technology can offer. A look and feel that as an intuitive interface, less clicks to navigate, high levels of interactivity it all increased the chances for teachers and students to provide better opportunities to deepen the learning. Some other important features for the long term to consider are social media support, integrations with other software, gamification tools, collaboration tools, micro learning, which is becoming ever more important in the, in the learning of, for students and support services that the platform provides, making sure, for example, that the support services are in your time zone. Tip number three, focus on the people. More than ever, the well-being of staff and students should be the highest priority. Technology is, will amplify good teaching, but it won't get rid of bad teaching. Online teaching requires new pedagogical approaches. Invest in professional development for leaders and teachers. Build a net for failure and encourage risk taking. Build this growth mindset that encourages, encourages everybody to get comfortable with being uncomfortable as we move through these challenging times. Teachers, keep it simple. Ask these questions. Where is the learner going? Where is the learner right now? How does the learner get there? And how is the technology that you're gonna use going to improve that learning? Teaching in an online environment requires a different set of pedagogical understanding and relationships between teacher, student and technology. Let's invest in that. To summarise my three tips when choosing online platforms, 
Tip number one, define your educational and business requirements first, both short and long-term goals. Tip number two, use a platform that's easy to use, keep it simple and think about important features for long term, such as gamification, micro-learning and collaboration tools. And tip number three, focus on the people and invest in the development of your staff and students. Thanks for watching, follow our social media and visit our website.